Hey guys, this is my first official video of my new infusion called Data Locker. Now, if you haven't seen my development video, don't even worry about it. Um, this one's going to go over all the actual official features in Data Locker version 1.0. Um, now, Data Locker is available in the Pineapple Bar as of right now, um, so go ahead and download it. So, what Data Locker does it allows for AES 128 or 256 bit encryption of your files. Um, also, it allows for you to encrypt strings on the fly, so that's useful for um, developers who are wanting to develop an application and are wanting to send their logs to an encrypted file automatically. So, if I were to write an application and I had to like log some information, you know, containing MAC addresses or something, I don't want that information in clear text. Um, I could pass it through Data Locker and then write that to a file automatically. Um, so I don't have to do any encryption myself because it's already done through Data Locker. Um, so now that we have like a nice little introductory out of the way, let's go ahead and actually look at Data Locker. Um, so this is version 1.0. Um, I'm going to go ahead and pull up the large tile here. Uh, so we have Data Locker and we have a change log, which there's nothing in there yet because it's the first version. Um, <coughs> so this is a nice little control thingy for the UI. Um, up here we have the file tracker which is going to show all the files that we currently have encrypted. Um, it will show the encryption algorithm used to encrypt it and is also the date. Um, here is a form that we can use to encrypt a file and here is a form that we can use to decrypt a file. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and do that really quickly. Uh, you do have to know the path to the file. Um, I could have had like a file manager thingy on there, but I didn't want to. Um, so let's go ahead and create a file. I think I already have one in here. Um, let's go ahead and see what is in this important file. Huh. Okay, so in important.txt we have the word important. Uh, so it's a very important file and I don't want anyone to be able to read it. Um, so let's go ahead and encrypt it. So it's in slash root slash important.txt and we'll go ahead and use AES-256 and my encryption key, let's go ahead and say um, what should it be? Don't... nah, let's say... I'm just going to say key because I'm a horrible person. Um, so let's go ahead and encrypt the file and up here, file encrypted successfully. Now in version 1.0 the file tracker doesn't automatically refresh, that's just because of my laziness and not wanting to deal with JavaScript. Um, so we're just going to click on the data locker tab and there it is, we see that we have um, encrypted this file and we see the path to it, we see the algorithm as well as the date and time <coughs> that it was encrypted. So now let's go ahead and I'm going to go ahead and show you that file really quickly. Um, so if I do a ls again, uh, we see that we have it encrypted right here. So if I go ahead and cat that, we just have a whole bunch of garbage. Um, and, you know, that, that means nothing to us as someone who's trying to read it. Um, so let's go ahead and decrypt it. Um, what I like to do is just copy and paste. So copy, paste. Oh, whoops. Um password. If you don't use the same encryption key to decrypt it that you use to encrypt it, uh, it'll still try to decrypt it, but you're not going to get your data back. Um, so let's go ahead and say decrypt file. Uh, file decrypted successfully, and now if we refresh the tracker, um, there's nothing in there. If we come back over to here, do ls, and we cat important.txt we have our very important information back in plain text. Um, so this is very, very useful um, if you have files on your pineapple, such as karma logs or um, any like phishing that you're doing, any passwords that you've captured or anything like that. Um, it's very useful for you to encrypt that data for when you're traveling um, or even when it's just sitting there at a remote deployment and you don't want that data being harvested by someone who just happens to pick up your pineapple or whatever. Um, so yes, you can encrypt stuff on the fly. Also, um, you can use boot switches on the pineapple to encrypt and decrypt data upon boot um, just by using the pineapple 
um, command line. So if we say pineapple infusion data locker, I was going to say help. Oh, whoops. Pineapple infusion. It'd help if I spilt it right. Okay, so um, if I say help, we get a nice little help menu here. Um, and we can see all the stuff to do. Uh, and you can, as you can see, you can encrypt and decrypt files. Um, you can encrypt and decrypt strings. I want to show you how these features work. Um, so let me go ahead and make this a little bit bigger. Um, so let's go ahead and say pineapple infusion data locker encrypt file. I'm going to use AES 256. Um, our key is going to be secret and we're going to encrypt slash root slash important dot text. Um, so if I go ahead and press enter it's been encrypted so now if I say pineapple infusion tracker list whoops data logger tracker list we can see that we have that file encrypted with AES-256 and it was encrypted at this time if we come back over to here and refresh this guy uh, we can see the same information um, so yeah, that's how you can encrypt a file from the command line decrypting is just as easy um, you just say decrypt and then the file to decrypt press enter um, now if we go ahead and uh, pull up the list you see it's no longer there if we ls and we hit no longer have the encrypted file and we can go ahead and cat important.txt so um, that's very useful for that um, one other feature I'm going to go over really quickly is um, the encrypting of strings so let me pull up the help menu again so we have encrypt string and decrypt string now the uh, the syntax is exactly the same um, so I'll say encrypt string um, AES 256 and my key is going to be let's see, secret again and then I need to wrap my string in quotation marks um, unless it's just one thingy long with no spaces uh, so but mine's going to have spaces in it this is top secret don't look And then there we have the uh, encrypted um, version of this with our key in AES-256. Um, so now let's go ahead and decrypt that string. I'm going to just copy and paste it. And there we go. So yeah, that's very, very simple to use. Um, one other feature I will go over very quickly, because I don't think I've touched this in any other videos yet, is uh, the shred option. Now this option is not available from the web interface at the moment. I will probably add it in the future, um, but at the moment it's not. Uh, so let's go ahead and say pineapple infusion data locker shred, and the file to shred. Let's go ahead and shred um, root important.txt um, so I'll go ahead and press enter this might take a second okay it's already done <laughs> um, and now we don't have it there um, now what it does versus just deleting the file is it will overwrite that file 20 times um, with just random data ones and zeros just randomly um, and then it will delete it so it overwrites it and then removes it so I'm not sure how forensically secure that is because I'm no forensics person myself, but I would imagine that that's more secure than just deleting it. Um, like I said, I'm not a forensic person, so please correct me if I am wrong, which I'm sure I am. Um, but yeah, so that's Data Logger version 1.0 is out in the pineapple bar. Um, please go ahead and download it. Please give me feedback, um, suggestions, you know, bugs, whatever it is and um, it'll probably be included in the next release of Data Locker. Uh, so I hope you enjoyed this video, hope you enjoyed the infusion. Um, 
So thank you for watching, and remember to subscribe and give a thumbs up if you like it.